Hey YouTube, P31Diva here, and if you're wondering why does she have her hair like that, it's because I'm about to remove my crochet braids slash lash hook weave, and I wanted to show share that process with you. This is my natural hair, natural as in grown from my head, and also natural as in um, relaxed or free hair. I'm going to show you how I remove my hair, but I want to make sure, remove the weave, I want to make sure I don't cut my hair, so my hair was in a series of cornrow braids and these are the ends that I had sewn into the hair sewn onto my the cornrows and then I just pulled them out of the uh, the, the sewn down strings I feel like I'm rambling anyway hope you get the idea if not just ask me a question so I want to make sure I don't cut my hair so that's why I have it like this and you're basically going to kind of do a big chop so just grab some hair and start cutting okay Like I said, the all my hair is um, in the cornrows, so I'm not. This is only the the weave that I'm just hacking away at clearly. Okay. okay. All right. So that's step one. Is that you kind of want to do a big chop on the the weaved hair. So now that that's out. Step two is I'm going to <clears throat> unbraid the individual cornrow braids. And if you're asking why did you take the time to cut that, it's <clears throat> it's a lot easier to unravel the individual braid if I don't have to contend with all of this hair. And this hair that I used was Free Tress Water Wave and it was in color Two. So anyway, now I'm going to do is this is the first cornrow here. I'm just going to begin to take it down, and um, for sake of time, I'm going to pause the video and then come back when I'm closer to here. So I'll be right back. So back closer to the top of the braid, and you're just going to begin to, I mean, continue to unbraid your hair. Not give it up. There we go. And because in the process of apply, um, installing the hair, you should be putting the latch hook all the way under the cornrow and not into the cornrow, if that makes sense. And hopefully I'm showing you something. Let me kind of get really close. Yeah, I think that's good. But so that when you're taking out the cornrow, because you've um, slid the latch hook tool all the way under the cornrow. When I say under, I mean under it and not into it. It makes it um, fairly easy to take down. Because basically it should just come unraveled. Um, it was secured with just knots. So as you pull the cornrow apart, the base, well what the knot was surrounding is now gone. I can stop talking, I'll get into a groove and we'll get this one out. Okay, there we go. See? And so that is what you're left with. And again, purpose of cutting all the, the weave short and so that you're not having as much um, hair to discern between. I know my hair is longer than all these little pieces so I'm able to just pull them off. And literally as I grow closer to the front, I'll just begin to all these little knots. have to play with the front. Towards the front I put extremely small pieces of hair in so that it would look more natural. Okay, there we go. Okay, and so, alright. 
And that's how you so that's how you remove the corner. Okay, I'm not sure what exactly happened with that, uh, with the audio on this portion of uh, what I recorded. So I'm just going to do a quick voiceover. All I'm saying is that I finished taking down the latch of lead and that it took me about an hour, maybe an hour 15 minutes to do so. Um, thanks you guys for watching the video. I apologize in advance if this voiceover isn't any better than uh, the loud um, machine sounds. I don't know, it sounds like I'm working in a factory or something, but anyway. Um, that's just the end of the video. So you guys take care. Have a day as beautiful as you are. Bye.